What is the relationship between growth and what happens in the labour market? Do states respond to the movement of people? What do you notice? How do social movements build and organise? What is the fuss all about? How do we work these things out? People increasingly want to do the right thing or make a difference through the choices they make. There's all sorts of things that motivate people. Almost always starts with some form of puzzle and question. It really makes you question things and it is not going to give you the answers it really pushes you and challenges you to critique things. I come from Ethiopia and in my lifetime I had seen a couple of uh, violent conflicts. I wanted to understand, was this helping us develop? That was why I came to SOAS and at the time I knew the Violence, Conflict and Development programme was first of its kind. And so if we want to make sense of our world, we have to understand this drama of development, what speeds it up, what slows it, what facilitates it, what its contradictions are. During my time at SARS, I was very much challenged by the fact that so often excellent research and work done in the field of international development goes forgotten and unknown to the general public. And at the same time, I understood the power of film. Since I graduated from SOAS, I've set up Shred Films, and today I was here at SOA speaking to current students about my research, about my work. And I focus in particular on the three most challenging aspects of a filmmaker's job, ethics of authenticity and aesthetics. It was hugely inspiring to have all these wonderful academics who have done fieldwork and they came back with that fresh research that they could share with us during lectures. And, and this is also what inspired me to set up Schwed Films. We don't teach from textbooks. We don't teach completely abstract materials. Most of us have a lived or practical working experience of the world we're talking about. And we bring that in to the way we teach and the way we design the courses. And I think that matters. When I came to SAWAS, I was helped by both the passion for social change, but also the academic rigor. It enabled me to be passionate about social change and helping people and bring about development, but also have really good critical thinking. They are training you to think creatively, develop your own skills and judgment. SOAS is an incredibly special place and the word community very much springs to mind. Being at SOAS very much helped me to be a citizen of the world and think globally but act locally. Anybody who has an interest in, in doing the right thing, in making a difference in the world, needs to begin with trying to understand that world and processes of change. <laughs>